So obviously today was crazy. Push P. Yeah, push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. All right, so we got another AMC update video for you guys. We're gonna talk about the market manipulation. I know it sounds crazy, market manipulation on AMC. But yeah, the halt was a little bit of market manipulation. Now I'll explain because halts are normal, but not the way this one was performed. Also, I'll let you guys know what's happening for the next following trading day and to give you guys some insight on what's going on and some news that happened on this crazy, crazy day. Let's go ahead and get in the video and check it out. All right, we are back with another video with Data Zero. So as you guys can see, we had an extremely crazy day here for AMC and GME. So I want to talk about this halt we had. I want to talk about what's happening and give you guys some idea on what's going on. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you guys can see, um, if you look up here in the corner, you'll see the volume for this candle. So this is a five minute candle. And if you look, this candle had 21 million volume. Um, and I want to talk about why this halt was unjustified. So as you can see, as soon as the bell rang, we were ready to take off and this was ready to go to the moon. So this is basically where we are on the grand scheme of things. If you look at the run up to $72, you guys can see that we had a, basically a little period of consolidation here before we ran up. So that's basically what's happening now and where we are at at this point. We're at this point right here and these are day candles. So that means that each candle represents a day. So we had this candle and this small candle before we ran up. But basically what they did was stop us from running up because we were about to break these major critical levels and head to the higher levels like 50 60 and 70 dollars but they stopped that by giving us a unjustified halt on the way down so what happened was we ran up and it should have halted because we had so much volume coming in it should have halted on the way up and we should have continued on up but what they did was get a massive sell pressure and then was able to halt it on the way down shake a lot of people out get a lot of people scared and give us a downwards halt and it was for five minutes and it happened on GME and HYMC, which just isn't normal for all the stocks to halt at the exact same time. It's very, 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 very strange. So we're seeing that all of these stocks got halted at the exact same time. And if you look, you can see that every five minute candle, we had the halt right here, GME, same thing. Also, we see the Bollinger Bands expanding, which means a lot of volatility is coming for the next day. So expect a lot of volatility to the upward downside for tomorrow i'm expecting us to rip tomorrow but you never know what's happening i want everyone to be ready that there's a lot of games that are going to be playing um, right now also there's rumors of some um, brokers removing the buy button already and there's um, rumors of glitches going out for gme being way over its valued price and as you guys can see um, shares were sold at $275 on E-Trade Pro, successfully sold right before this halt. So there was numerous glitches saying that this halt, um, before it happened, there was funny things going on, notifications going out that GME hit $300, $275, $500 per share. So just a lot of things are going on. So I want you guys to be aware that things could happen, that this could run up but they could try to manipulate it in a way that we can't get our money. So I want everyone to be aware of what's going on. Take profits on the way up. Hopefully you have enough shares to take profits on the way up, but do not wait till the last second to dump all your shares because you could be left holding the bag. Now for tomorrow, we're going to be looking at the price points at 30 one dollars we need to pass 31 dollars for amc and then once we do we'll probably take off especially 31.50 um, and pass 200 dollars on gme will take off if any of these stocks reach that will take off um, for the lower levels we'll be looking at 26 dollars for a low obviously things can get crazy because volatility is very high and then for a low of gme we're looking at 160 the Bollinger Bands are expanding. We did retest the 200 EMA when we did this dip, so that's a good sign of strength, and we did regain everything. So everything's looking strong, and I'm thinking that we're going to continue up, but there's a lot of manipulation happening. And just remember that this halt 
normally halts are fine, but this one was definitely a sign of manipulation due to the fact that it happened on three stocks. And HYMC is the stock that AMC bought as well and had a tremendous day as well. Was up over 20% is up over 120% over the last two weeks. And other than that, I just want to show you guys real quick the short interest. So here is the short interest on Ortex. It's at 20.8%. So short interest is slightly coming down. Um, and we see that uh, affecting the price. As the price goes up, short interest is coming down. So the shorts might be starting to cover, but they haven't covered in any large meaningful sense yet as short interest is still at 20%. So it's still extremely high. Um, calls expiring in the money. We have 1,118 calls calls expiring in the money April 1st at $30. So that could cause more gamma squeezing, which originally started us taking off and um, on this upward trajectory, as well as GME, Ryan Cohen buying shares as well. Shares available to borrow on 150,000. Um, shares available to borrow but that is the video like I said I cover cybersecurity I cover stocks crypto and all that stuff so if you find any of that informative or this video informative go ahead and drop a like subscribe for more content and as always have fun stay safe keep hacking peace out Right, so that was everything. Hopefully you found the video informative. If you did, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe for more content, and as always, have fun, stay safe, keep hacking, make money. Peace out.